Good afternoon everyone, I'm Engineer John Gabriel G. De Sena. On behalf of Yati University, DOST ITDI, National University, and Finite Element Institute of the Philippines, I'm here to present the uh, accomplishment of our DOST HRDP project with the title Basic Training Course on the Theory and Applications of Finite Element Analysis Using MSc Software. So just to give you a background of, about our training program, this is actually a product of the Balik Scientist program under DOST Pichard, wherein we invited the expert engineer Vicente E. D. Reyes, who introduced to us the use of FEA or finite element analysis in designing and analyzing different products from aerospace, mechanical, civil, and even biomedical. So initial lectures were actually conducted at Fiat University, but uh, our aim is to cascade it to other institutions as well. So later on, uh, Piatti, uh, through engineer Vicente E. D. Reyes, introduced MSC software, which was later procured by uh, our university uh, to help our students in the training on the use of FEA, as well our, as our faculty members, and also for research and project applications. So what was the rationale behind this pro program? So actually, uh, these were the findings of the implementation of the BSP. So we found out that there were little to no knowledge on the use of FEA technology in the Philippines, especially in the academic and industry. So this led to the country being left behind in uh, design and manufacturing of certain products, which requires structural analysis, such as in aerospace, mechanical, civil, and other related fields. So. This also tend to slow down the uh, development of these products because they, they require twist, te actual testing, which can be done through FAA simulations. Okay, so lastly, uh, uh, local academic and research institutions were also identified to be left behind in this area, while institutions abroad include the subject in their curricula. So to uh, make this change, no, so we have to teach our people on the use of FEA first. As for the details of the program, so this is actually uh, conducted uh, every weekends on Saturday for five days and uh, we limited it to 20 participants due to the limitations of the software and we covered the topics mainly on the theory of FEA, software, uh, interpretation, analysis and validation of results and then simulation reports and then lastly, industry-based applications. As for the number of participants, so we have here from uh, academe, government agencies, uh, private sector, and then observer from our uh, funding agency, which is DOST Pichard. As for the potential impact, so we have industry and socioeconomic. For the industry, creation of pool of experts on the use of FEA, which can be tapped later by this various industry. And then this increases the uh, speed, reduce the cost and build better products for the market. This will also reduce our reliance in importing certain parts or products which can now be designed and built locally. And for the socioeconomic, this also creates job opportunities, especially in the field of engineering. This reduces our reliance to foreign products, which can now be locally developed and we can also export it to contribute to our economic growth and, of course, the improvement of allied industries, especially in the sector of manufacturing and transportation. As for the project journey, uh, initially, uh, we uh, plan to uh, submit it for HRDP funding. Uh, back then, it's, it was still not yet retool, and, uh, but pandemic occurred, so uh, this was re later revived in 2021 and uh, submitted under the DOST Pichard HRDP program uh, and then was approved later on April 2022. So as you can see on the left, this is a call for applicants. So these are just some of the pictures we have and this is the picture from the day one uh, wherein the HRDP was introduced to the participants and then this, this was followed by a lecture by Dr. Andre Publico on the theory part. And these are just sample uh, simulation reports that uh, was, were the result of the training program from our private industry and of course uh, from the government agency. So these are just some pictures from the graduation. Uh, out of the 20 participants, 17 uh, made it successfully. This was uh, attended virtually, no less than by our Fisher Director, Dr. Enrico Siparingit. 
And lastly, for the information of everyone, so again, we will be conducting an intermediate training course in, uh, in connection to the basic training course, which will be now for aerospace application. And uh, we are, our target date of implementation is October to November of this year. And uh, lastly, for the cascading of FAA technology, so hopefully the trainers or the trained individuals and practitioners will propagate this, this FAA technology on their respective institutions and hopefully the creation of project proposals in relation to the use of this FAA technology. I hope you enjoyed uh, listening. Thank you for your time.